What's up everyone? We are finally back. I take a little break because the camera is like broken. We have a G7X and I'm filming on it right now but the flip up screen is like not in good condition at all. It's like gonna fall off. So I kind of uh, have a little piece of tape there holding it on so I can flip it up and see what I'm doing. Because if I don't flip it up see what I'm doing, it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing. If you can't see what you're doing. So, we are going over the mystery tackle box. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. But first what we're going to do is re-spool one of my rods here. I do, uh, it is this one right here. Now the problem with this is I'm going to read it for you guys. Okay, so the line, this is a schmu, alright, well there you go, you guys might have just seen it. That just happened, as soon as I turned the spool. Um, but this uh, Re Pacific Real Shimano uh, R2000, this is 12 pound line on here, and it says you should only have, alright, for 10 pounds, let's see. For 10 pound line is the highest you should put on here. This is 12, so it's all falling off, which I'm probably gonna put an eight. We'll see what I have in my box. For a six pound test line, you can put 170 yards on here. For eight pound test, which I'm probably gonna do 120 yards. And for a 10 pound test, you can do 100 yards. And this is 12, so this probably is 100. So what we're going to do, is I'm going to demonstrate on how I personally uh, do this. So, we take our, you got to find a tip right here's the hook that I have on here. Throw it this way. Okay. So we just want to get it right up right there to the tip, just like so. And what we're going to do, oh, I got it hooked on here. Oh, what we're going to do is we are going to check Okay, I think I'm going to throw it on now. Here's my other Shimano. I have two of them, but this one already has mine on it, so I'm going to put it on this one. This one holds, I didn't even look at this one yet. This one holds 8 pounds, 10 pounds, and 12 pounds a line. This is a Shimano R4000, R so this holds 12 pounds. Uh, so we're going to throw all that right there onto this rock, or this reel. So I'm going to probably take this just this little rod. This is this rod is tiny, it's just a little trout rod. And the only reason I'm putting the rod on here to straighten the line as it comes in. So I'm just gonna take it, slide it down right there, turn it, tighten it up. Oop, see if you guys can see this. Hold on one second, let me get it started. And just twisting it up. Tighten it up. Enough for now. So it's not gonna fall off. Just like this. Alright. So now that that is on there nice and tight. We're going to take our line, find the tip of it. You're gonna take it. We're going to open up our tackle box actually. That's down here. I don't think you guys can see it. Grab these scissors and snip it off there. Throw this in my little cup right here with my worms and stuff in it. We're going to take it, put it on the first eye, down the second eye, third eye, fourth, fifth. And that's the last. And now you're going to flip your bail up like so. You're going to wrap it around there. Uh, how I tie it is I just go, I just tie it like a normal, like you would have this. Almost like, I don't know, you just cross them, pull tight, and I just do that a couple times. Just since, I mean, I would tie it better than that, but I'm not like fishing with this rod. I mean, this is a catfishing reel with a trout rod. That's exactly what it is, so not the best idea. 
Actually, I might start using this one for bass. I'm not sure. Because I like to use like 12 pounds for bass. Okay, so. that's all very good. We're going to take our scissors. We're just going to snip the extra. And we're going to reel this, flip the bail over. Reel this a little bit, just like that. So now, as you guys can see, it's starting to gum up on there. We're going to take our other rod, toss it over there, just like so. But what we're going to do is flip the bail open so it all comes out. Toss it over there. Don't hook myself somehow. Okay. All right. So now we're just going to reel it up. Okay, so if I was like doing this, I'm just gonna hold the line, like right here, pinch it. Just like this. And all you do is you keep reeling it from here, from the end of that rod, over the other end, until it's all gone. So I'm gonna skip through it and uh, I'll show you guys as soon as I am done uh, what it looks like and I'll show you guys as soon as I get it done. So uh, let's see how fast I can do it. Time she's ready, set. Alright guys, that was pretty quick for you. Not quick for me. We got her done. It's all full. I'm going to take and pull straight. Okay, maybe that's not the best idea. Okay, so we're just gonna bring I guess we're gonna bring a rod over here. Grab it, wrap it over here. Ooh. Gonna cut my fingers that way. Grab it like this with your sweatshirt, wrap it around, and give it a tug. Just like that. Better than ever. Now, we're going to take this rod. Just going to reel it a little bit. Get it through. Let's see here, what do we got going on? Just like this. And there you go. There you have it. Just like that. So now we have an empty one. Uh, I've decided what I'm going to do instead is, while well, I was reeling it in, and you guys couldn't see me, I've decided I'm only going to make, uh, I'll make a video for tomorrow probably. And that one will be the spooling of the, I'll spool the rod, the rod up again. In that video. Uh, but for this video, we're gonna finish this. And I'm not gonna do the mystery tackle box in this one either. I'll make another video for that. So we're just gonna hook it on here, just like so. Boom, just like that. Hook it on the little notch that's made to be hooked on there. Ooh, got some slack. Just like that. Alright guys, I think that's going to be good enough for this video. We'll be doing the mystery tackle box within the next two videos. And uh, we will be spooling up the rod. I might like do it, the mystery tackle box, tomorrow. Then do the rod next time so it kind of separate it. So it's not kind of like too boring. They're all going to be boring. <laughs> no, they're not really going to be boring. But hopefully not. But it just kind of separates them a little bit. We'll see. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll see how it goes. And then we should do this all off there. So if you guys liked the video, please be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe to our channel. Tell everyone about it. And I'll see you guys on the next one.